Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader, and it's uh, Tuesday, December 1st. These are the charts of the day. Today, I'm going to focus in on the Chinese sector as the stocks appear to be the hottest groups are in, in, in Wall Street right now. And alphabetically, starting with CAAS, a stock we've highlighted many times. Today was another good day for it. Yesterday, we broke out of the two-week flag pattern it was in, on lo culminating with a low volume ebb here. The breakout it came today. The stock followed through right up to 22.13, packed off to 20.51, still up a dollar 16 on the day, although it did give up a good chunk of it. Uh, as you can see from the long-term chart, in a rising channel, taking out the top of that channel here and busting through key overhead resistance. Um, moving out, you'll see that the stock today went to a new all-time high, taking out the 2003 and 4 highs. That's a significant technical occurrence and certainly one that could lead to higher prices. We're looking for something in the mid to high 20s, um, probably over the next few weeks or maybe even a few days. You never know with these stocks the way they go. CAGC, China Agritech, um, fairly new IPO, exploded in early October, backed off, and then came out again, double topped in this area. Today, the significance of today's move, jumping 360 or 19% on nearly a million shares, the heaviest volume since the IPO. The stock spiked up and through, and at this point, it looks to me like um, it can move into the mid to high 20s as well. Um, certainly another strong Chinese um, stock. China Green Agriculture, a stock we've been following for several months now, since it was down here in the mid single digits, um, broke out, spent two months consolidating, broke out again, consolidated for three and a half months, and then over the last, uh, then uh, two weeks ago, broke out on heavy volume and sat there and flagged for about six, seven days. Today it popped. Reach up to 1779. That's a new 52-week um, high. And although it did back off to 1657, was still up 57 cents on the day, on two and a half million shares, and um, maybe uh, coming on at this point to um, higher levels. Top of the channel measures upwards of the 31 zone. That's nearly a double from where we are now, and that wouldn't surprise me if it eventually made it up there. CLWT has been hot of late after they announced the potential IPO of their Chinese water division. Um, as you can see, the stock exploded on heavy volume four days ago, backed off, and then came out again the last two sessions. Today, gaining 23 cents, although 60, some 58 cents off its high. Uh, it traded 3.5 million shares. Um, quite heavy volume for that stock. And the heaviest, heaviest volume that we're, we've seen here since the stock um, going all the way back a couple of years at least, two, three years. So that's uh, quite quite an eventful day for it. You can see there's multiple tops up in the uh, um, five and a half, six and a half zone. So I'm expecting the stock could um, make a move up towards that zone, although it is at the top of the channel. And that's one of the reasons it backed off today. CMFO. China Marine Food, uh, after a strong move from the March lows through August, it then consolidated for three months, nearly three and a half months, broke out, pulled back, and it's forming a flag of sorts here. This stock looks like it has the potential to break out of the flag and run, and I would project something up around the $8 level short term. China Yunchai, um, automotive uh, and electronic electrical type firm, uh, broke out of this Beautiful formed bull pennant flag yesterday. Followed through slightly and then backed off. It was actually down on the day, but uh, overall pattern shows the possibilities of a move that takes us into the low to mid 20s. Next up is a portfolio position of ours, Candy Technologies, an automotive uh, mini truck manufacturer, a uh, car and truck. Um, you can see broke out of this recent consolidation after breaking out of the coil here and running up. Then consolidated, and it's breaking out again, uh, making new highs nearly every day. 544 was the high today of four cents over yesterday's high, and the highest level that Kenny has reached in, since about 18 months now. So, uh, heading looks like it's heading for a run at the seven dollar level, which was the post IPO high a year and a half ago. That would be my short term projection. Next is one of the stars of the week so far, Seed, which had a spectacular run yesterday of two and a half points, 23 percent on. 31.8 million today had come down a little bit. Jumped earlier on though to 14.57, a new rally high, and backed off uh, substantially. Still up on the day, but just barely. However, the overall pattern is strong and could still lead to higher level, levels in the 16.18 zone. 
Tianyin Pharmaceuticals today. I wanted to highlight this as um, the entire consolidation range that it's been in for the last four months. Um, maybe in jeopardy, the stock um, popped, ran up to the moving average and backed off. It's still a real strong day on volume for that stock. TRIT, uh, a technical services firm, um, environmental services, uh, held the pullback in October, ran up to the highs, backed off, and then uh, it came out again. But um, you can see that it finally broke through on strong volume. And even though it backed off today from 24 and a half to 22.84, we're still up on the session. I'm expecting higher prices potentially on that one. TSTC broke out of the two-week bull flag that it's been in today and had a spectacular day up nearly two points on uh, two and a half million shares. Strong volume breaking out of the flag. Looks like headed for the high teens at the top of the channel. And lastly is Vis Vision China. A new, newly added position to our portfolio today. Here's why. Beautiful one-year base, breakout, six, eight-week consolidation. And today, that the declining top sign was taken out with volume, the heaviest volume in about six, seven weeks. And it closed near the high for the day going away. I expect possibilities exist that this stock makes it up towards the 12 and then maybe 14 and a half range are targets. Those are some Chinese stock ideas for you. Let's see how they do over the next few days. Hello again, everybody.